Fire stations are more than just launch points for emergency responses. They're also the backbone of firefighters everywhere. These spaces provide shelter, training, and the necessary support for those who put their lives on the line. Today, we're jumping into a space that seamlessly blends functionality, community, and care. So this is the original fire station number three? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. This is pretty indicative of late 1960s architecture for firehouses throughout the country. Pretty much just function first, right? And it's just a concrete bunker inside and out. Function, I mean, this thing seems tiny. For sure. You know, the fire department actually couldn't fit their largest rig in these bays here. They had to keep a door open. Literally busting out of the seams. Yep. You know, these are first responders. They're here for 48 hours at a time. This is their workspace, their living space, their socialization space. Uh, it's kind of everything to them. So if you can imagine all 10 firefighters crammed into one dorm room, one sleeping quarters, and also all sharing the same restroom. That sounds horrible. <laughs> you know, it's funny that you could walk right past this thing and not even really know it's here. You know, we foresee fire stations as pieces of civic architecture that are recognizable to the community and convey a sense of pride and strength. Okay, this place is huge. What a great upgrade. You know, this place is sized for a booming population. Salt Lake City in Utah is one of the fastest growing regions in the country. And it's really sized to meet the needs of the fire department. You know, as big as it is, it still feels open and inviting. Thank you very much. We wanted to create a great piece of civic architecture that related to the community that it serves. And we also wanted to take care of the firefighters that were responding to that community. Organizationally, this fire station is designed to minimize the steps from firefighters to the apparatus bay so that they can get to response calls in a quicker time. Additionally, we want to make sure that we're taking care of the firefighters. Uh, each firefighter has their own individual dorm in this facility. There's social space, there's working space, there's living space. In addition to that, on the second floor, we created a community meeting space. And, you know, I can't help but notice that so many elements, like the facade, they're sort of in dialogue with the buildings around them. Yeah, that's exactly right. We actually used this white concrete panel, which is Reader's Oco Skin, to create a texture very similar to the shingle style houses in the neighborhood. This panel also has a very high recycled content, which allowed us to hit our LEED Platinum certification. We worked with a local contractor, Western Building Group, to create a customized installation method where they prefabricated these panels onto larger units and then hung them on the building. You had me at customized. But well, as great as it looks on the outside, I can't wait to see what it actually feels like once you're indoors. Of course this place is bigger, but is it still allowed you to be fast? Absolutely, you can definitely tell that there's some intentionality with station design with response times. You know in our line of work, time is of the essence. So everywhere from the furthest dorm, out into the bay, onto the rig, and through these high-speed bipole doors, response time is obviously in mind. We've talked about the emergency side of things, but talk to me about the domestic side. How is this enabled living? So we spend a third of our lives here. So we have to have an opportunity for us to be away, have some privacy, process our thoughts from potentially a traumatic day, but also having opportunities to break bread with our team, to have some time in front of the televisions to sort of have that community. Yeah, with this amazing backdrop. And you know, you see signs of wellness everywhere, including this amazing gym. With Salt Lake City Fire Department, health and wellness is a priority for us. So we're able to bring in several elements with that in mind. Everything from bringing in the infrared sauna for firefighter recovery and detoxification. Everything is sort of built with health and wellness in mind. I understand that Salt Lake City has a mandate that buildings of this size are required to have net zero energy. I see a lot of glass. How on earth did you pull this off? You know, it really was a challenging feat, you know, especially considering a fire station is occupied 24-7, 365. You know, this was actually one of the first net zero energy fire stations in the country. And we really hope it can be a model for the future. And, you know, it strikes me that to accomplish that wasn't some silver bullet that solved it all. You know, it's macro level decisions like using geothermal heating and cooling and it's a large solar panel array that offsets all of our energy use, and it's high R values in our rock wool insulation on the walls. But it's also micro level decisions like the energy efficient Wallace security gates and the recycled content in our Hanstone countertops. You know, I love when innovative design 
kind of just dissolves to the background. If you just walked by, you'd have no idea there's geothermal heat here or solar panels even on the roof. But we didn't want to be too overt with the energy efficiency of the building. We instead wanted something that was sophisticated and really fit the context of the neighborhood. Even though the space is so big, you realize it's really the result of a lot of tiny little details. Yeah, that's right, Will. You know, it's everything from the texture of the McNichols perforated metal panels behind us to the local art pieces that we've incorporated. These are local artists that really inject the project with a sense of community. We've seen everything from just domestic lived moments to real-time emergency responses. And the spaces perform beautifully. Yeah, it was really obvious to us that the intentionality was put into station design. And the feedback that I get from the crews that I get the opportunity to work with is they really enjoy the space, the functionality, and the comfort that this building provides. Right, I mean, fire station, it's a firehouse and home. I mean, it feels like a home. It's really critical for us to have a home away from home that feels comfortable. Well, I think you've made an amazing building. Congrats.